Just look how light and bouncy these are. Come watch me put these in because it was definitely an experience. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Fabby and you're watching Naturally Fabby. In this video we're jumping right into it. It's going to be short and sweet to the point. I just want to show you guys how I got these mean twists in. So let's jump right into it. First and foremost, you know we have to start on clean hair. And my hair was so hydrated I had to include this slow-mo of me just running this brush into it and look how juicy these curls are. So this is the brand I'll be using. I'm using 1B and I'm also using the T1 for the other side and it's this golden color right here. And I am planning on doing it half and half. So one on one side, black on the other side. Let's get to it. My hair can't take gel, so I am attempting to use this edge control to see if that could help. I will be also using this olive mousse. As you can see, my hair is already parted in half. I started the back off camera because for me, that's the hardest part to film. Once I have my part, I apply the edge control. I try to apply it directly on the hair and not quite on my scalp. Um, excuse the face expression, this is me trusting the process. Still very much learning how to braid my own hair and how to grasp so to make it easier for me I take the part and I split it in half and I'm gonna use those as a way for me to be able to hold on to the add-on braids in my hair it's a process I add mousse to the wig before I start braiding as a way to kind of keep it all together tried to do a close-up and failed miserably. For this style, you start by braiding your hair about one inch and then you will use a clip so that when you're twisting it, you prevent it from pulling on your hair. I use quite a bit of mousse in this hairstyle and it's to keep my hair in the weave together and to also keep the flyaways from flying away. I am speeding up this part um, because it's a standard double strand twist all the way throughout so I'm going to speed up the rep repetitive part and I'll be adding a close up video because I really want you guys to see what I do with the roots.
as much as possible and whatever is left I twirl it around and my fingers as such trust the process It was at this moment she started questioning her own decision for this hairstyle. I promised you guys a close-up and a close-up you will get. So I did add the edge control, the mousse, and here we go here. Um, I am trying to do it one way instead of splitting the part into two. So here you can see me just braiding. It looks like I'm braiding tightly, but I really am not. I am being very gentle, especially with the front section of my hair. So here what I'm actually doing is I am splitting my own hair in half here. So half go in each, each strand. I also wanted to show you guys why you guys clip your roots as to when you start twisting. Because once you start twisting, that top part here twists into itself and it starts pulling at your hair. Um, I didn't use a clip because I wanted to show you guys how it goes. but. This is exactly why we clip the top hair before you start twisting. And bam, this is what the finished product is looking like. You know, the roots are actually not as tight as you think it might be. Can you guys tell that I'm feeling myself? This hairstyle came out so much cuter than I expected. I am in love with it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.